Okay, so you bought Final Cut Pro 10, and you're wondering if you should get Motion 5, and the answer is yes. And I'm not affiliated with Apple. I don't care if you buy Motion 5 or not, but you should have it. It's definitely one of the best deals Apple is providing at 50 bucks. And so you don't know anything about motion and you're not really interested in getting in and finding out all this stuff about how to use it, let me explain why you should have it. Say you have a favorite effect that you like. I'm just going to duplicate this over real quick. But every time you apply it to your clip, it's always set to the same setting and you always have to make all of the changes that you need to get to that one look that you like. Say, something like that. And every time you load this up, you have to go through that trouble setting this up. Well, if you have Motion 5, all you have to do is right click on your effect and open in motion. This doesn't usually take long. All you have to do is go to this layer up here that says project. Go to the inspector and make sure that the publishing tab is open. And copy the settings that you had set up. Let's see, this is a seven. Let's just type it in, it's faster. You have seven here. Double click on the number, type in a new one, 13, 17, 50 is close enough. Set that, strong, and about 65, right there. Now all you have to do is go to Save As. You can set up your own category. You can why don't we just do that? Just call it favorites. There we go. This never needs to be set if you're making a copy of a effect. And you can save a preview movie if you want to, but for this particular one, it's not that necessary. I will just go ahead and publish. Now you can quit motion, back in Final Cut, you can take out the old filter, go to your new category, click on your effect, and apply it, and it's automatically there for you. It's worth the 50 bucks for the time savings alone. So that's a good reason why you should have Motion 5 if you have Final Cut Pro 10. The two applications are joined at the hip. And to complete your experience of Final Cut 10, you should have Motion 5. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.